We continue our coverage of a major development in the investigation into the deadly Boston bombings. The Toronto Sun's Joe Warmington is on the ground in Boston for us, and he joins us now live on the phone with more. And Joe, we're hearing that a suspect has been identified, and there have been a lot of conflicting reports now as to whether someone is actually in custody. What can you tell us, Joe? Well, as I said before, that's the kind of thing that's happening on the ground here is you just don't know. You, you hear people confirming that there's someone in custody and then you hear the opposite. So I don't know. I don't want to say one way or the other, but my gut feeling is that, that, that it's premature on the arrest and that they do have a suspect identified, perhaps uh, physically, not maybe name. And uh, as I've reported earlier uh, with the Toronto Sun, uh, uh, my, you know, my stuff online as well as with Sun News Network that, you know, they have images and they have more than one of who they think it might be. Uh, is, are you hearing anything in terms of multiple suspects or at this point are you hearing that there is one suspect identified, Joe? Because a lot of questions as to whether this was the work of a lone person or an organized group. Well, I've heard both, but I, I hear one suspect more than I hear multiple. I think there was some confusion there as well because I've heard that there was multiple images. And so I think some people, including myself, wondered if that could mean more than one suspect. But I, I'm, I'm leaning towards one suspect. I'm hearing that it's a, you know, somebody a darker skin is what's described uh, to me by the, uh, you know, the police officer that, that I talked to here. But again, you know, we'll have to, to see. I don't know really for sure because uh, at five o'clock they're going to let us know. But this is what we're hearing, uh, and so. It's yeah. just rampant. Uh, they are rampant speculation here. Yeah, absolutely. It is a very fluid story, and often in these situations, you get rumors, you get conflicting reports until you get that verification from authorities, and that's why we're tracking this so closely. Now, Joe, I understand you do have some details in terms of how they were able to get the image of the suspect. Where did that image come from? Well, again, we're doing our own analyzing of it, and the Sun News Networks and Sun, you know, our own analyst, Ross McLean, who's on all, all our shows, and we use them on the newspaper side, has been pouring through what he can to help us. So this is speculative, but based on what he's told us, it's from a department store. And again, I, the name, I don't have it right in front of me, and it's probably not a good idea to say it just yet, but he's found images of people that it could be and where the cameras are and all of that. The department store right near where this happened. Now, there's thousands of images, but the ones that they went through uh, and they were scouring through overnight were all the, you know, the normal ones that you would do in a robbery or any kind of case uh, where you're looking for somebody. And the best uh, equipment is in these department stores. So uh, that's what we're told, and uh, we'll have to wait and see. And when we do find out, Ross is also going to analyze it further for me. Yeah, certainly we will continue to analyze the story, Joe, though. It's been just a roller coaster of emotions for people in Boston from the day of the bombing. I know there was a big vigil held last night in Boston. Give me a sense of the mood on the street right now with all of the rumors that are out there and news of a possible suspect. Well, it's, it's a really strange place uh, right now because half the city or the downtown core is shut down. There's 10 square blocks. The president is set to come here tomorrow. Uh, there's also, uh, you know, great grief and, and anger over what happened at the Great Boston Marathon. A very, very proud, uh, you know, historic um, event in the city. So there's all of that. But I think mostly there's just a curiosity. There's almost like a void as people wonder. And I mentioned, you know, the description of the of the suspect. And this is the big debate. I mean, was this a lone person, somebody like out of the Oklahoma City bombing, you know, that kind of ilk, right wing? Uh, nut bar type, or is it somebody connected to a religion? And you know, the, we had the original Saudi Arabian kind of suspect. And could it be the 9/11 style and that, that kind of thing? So this this debate rages, and there's no middle ground stay on it. You talk to people, and they're adamant that it's one or it's the other. And of course, for a reporter like myself uh, on the ground, I, I think more about the eight-year-old victim and the five-year-old now that may be losing his leg, and the you know the sister and the mother that are you know, um, fighting for their lives in the hospital. And I don't really know if it matters uh, what the politics of it uh, may be. Yeah, but certainly. You, you know that's where this story's going. Absolutely. Sir, placing blame is one thing, but it doesn't change what's happened to these people, to those who have died, and those whose lives have been altered completely as a result of this event. And, uh, Joe, we will continue to track this. I want to thank you for taking the time to chat with us. 
Anytime. We'll, we'll stay on top of it, and uh, you know, hopefully we'll get a break here before the end of the show. But, uh, you know, obviously there's major developments here in Boston. All right. Thank you so much, Joe. Thank you. That is the Toronto Sun's Joe Warmington reporting live from Boston. I just want to recap because there are a lot of conflicting reports. It is a fluid story, continues to change a lot of rumors and speculation. At this point, Boston police, I can tell you, just tweeted on Twitter that uh, there is not a suspect in custody, that there have, has not been an arrest. That's what we're seeing on Twitter from the Boston police. What we are hearing, though, is that a suspect may have been identified. We hope to get you all of the the details. An update is coming from authorities in the United States in regards to this investigation. We will have that for you. The details of that at 5 p.m. Eastern.